What is up, guys? I am Beaker49, and this is Fight of the Week, the series where we highlight a fight from the Desolation map each week. Today, we're at the BB house, and we're playing a little GTA King. If you're not sure what GTA King is, check out the video I, I posted this week. I'll briefly describe it. Basically, it's GTA mode where we drop into the city of Covington, and we are free to loot and scavenge. And we're going to loot and scavenge for about 20 minutes, and then one person is going to become the king. As you see me attack Samurai Daniel and Diamond A-Team at the same time here. One person is the king and they are stocked up. They have a power 5 bow, they have an iron sword with flame on it, they have a bunch of arrows, ender pearls, and the king has to pick a building and tell everyone where he is. Whoever kills the king gets to be the king of their own and pick their own building. So I'm going to show you this clip here because I went to town as the king. I'm at the BB house. If you don't know what the BB house is, I can't tell you. You either know or you don't. Let's just say it's a house that's undergoing or underwent fumigation. Oh! Oh! Aerial jump shot! Have you guys ever seen something like that? Leave a like for that! Ooh! Aerial jump shot on Daniel's head. But this house is undergoing fumigation. Or it was during the apocalypse. Uh, it was a mid-fumigation when the monsters came. Who knows what's going on inside, you'll have to venture out and explore into the house if you want to find out. <laughs> so I'm up here and these guys were coming in waves. The only weapons they had were the things that they could find in the city. A lot of them had stash houses where they could stack, uh, stash some of their weapons. I think there's a Stormzix coming in on me. I couldn't get a clear shot so I'm going to go for the overhead. Ooh, he got me down to three and a half hearts. I got to move. I can't, I can't linger here. The rule is you can't leave the house you chose, or the building you chose, so I have to stay around the Breaking Bad house. I'm going to get into this little corner, hope no one saw me, and try to regain some hearts really quickly. This is a tense situation right now. Oh no! Diamond! Ooh, I switched to the sword real fast on that one. I had to. It was the only thing that kept me alive. And I did it again! Thank goodness! He was down to one heart or something. Oh man, I am on a roll right now. I don't know how many kills I have, but I am low on health. It's Daniel. Ooh, I led him around that one. Samurai Daniel got caught up in the swings. It's not all fun and games out here. <laughs> so I have killed pretty much every... Ooh, not everyone. There's a guy down there. I But I've killed pretty much everyone on the server who was worth killing, who was stacked up enough to come against me. <laughs> and uh, so now, you know, I'm just playing the waiting game, waiting for them to go back to their stash houses and get their stuff. Because, you know, they're going to need weapons to take me out. One thing that became very evident when playing uh, King of GTA or GTA King, I don't care whichever you want to call it, was it required some teamwork. It's very difficult to kill the king by yourself. You're going to need a uh, distraction of some kind. You have to hit him from multiple sides and multiple angles at the same time. That's the only way to do it. A power five bow, flame one iron sword, enchanted armor with thorns, and I think uh, sharpness, not sharpness, <laughs> uh, protection four. Uh, so it's very difficult to kill the king unless you have help from your friends who are not exactly your friends because at any other time they're killing each other for their stuff. Uh, that's how GTA mode works. It's a, like, a, lot, a lot like GTA Online where you're free to do whatever you like in the city. Be hostile. Oh, <laughs> Daniel, you know, he tried to come back against me. Uh, good, you know, give him props for that. He was very tenacious and he was leading the charge most of the time. But, you know, you can't come against me by yourself. You're going to need help. That, was the, that down tree is the only way. Uh-oh. Ooh, don't want to be in your menus while someone's shooting at you. That's for dang sure. Um, but that tree is the only way up on top of this this house right here. So i got to keep watching that tree, basically. That's my, that's my lifeline. <laughs> but I do sense some movement out in the neighborhood. And I, you know, I wanna, I wanna get a, a highlight reel shot. So I'm gonna be looking for these long shots, these sniper rounds going into people's heads, because that's what I do. I like to make bow shots look pretty. <laughs> Not all the time, you know. We can't always be on top of our games, but for the most part, for the most part. So they're stacking up, they're getting their their next wind, so to speak. And I'm just up here chilling, owning this house, owning this fumigation tent house, <laughs> the BB house. If you know what it is, don't even post in the comments. Just let people figure it out for themselves. Ooh, that's Diamond. He hit me. Ooh, he hit me again. Oh, I gotta move. Oh, we're in a bow fight here. I like these. I'm good at these. I'm gonna excel. I'm gonna kill him so easily. Watch this. Oh, oh no. I got distracted. I'm trying to run. I'm trying to sprint. Oh, I couldn't sprint. I was trying the whole time to double tap forward, but I couldn't do it. 
4J, some button mapping would be awesome. But that is my run as the king. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching Fight of the Week, a series where I highlight one fight from the Desolation map every Saturday. Tune in next week to see more blood spilling into the gutters of Covington. Be sure to check out past Fight of the Week videos if you haven't seen them already, or watch them again if you need some PvP pointers. If you think you have what it takes, add me on Xbox Live to get in the game. Thanks for watching.